Hello Bobcats. In this video we're going to look at volume conversions. First let's do a couple of definitions. So if we have cubic centimeters, anytime we have a distance cubed, we consider that a volume of solids. And if we have something that has liters in it, like milliliters, this would be a volume for liquids. And a lot of times we have to convert between uh, solid volumes and liquid volumes. And with that, our conversion factor would be one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. Now this is something that you need to memorize. And if I write it up here, I can say that this is a liquid volume. So I'll write liquid to solid volume conversion. Okay. Now, let's look at a cube for a second. If I take a cube And on this cube, we say that this each side is one meter. So I've got one meter on each side. That's a measurement of distance for each side. And we know that volume is equal to length times width times height. And so if I were to determine the volume of this, we would say that the volume of this cube is one meter times one meter times one meter, which would equal but one times one times one is one, and meter times meter times meter is a meter cube. So that's a cubic meter. So the volume of this cube would be one cubic meter. But I would like to know what the volume of this cube would be in centi cubic centimeters. So if I look at it, we know that one meter is also 100 centimeters. So each side is 100 centimeters. So I could say that the volume of this cube in centimeters would be 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters times 100 centimeters. And if I look at that, 100 times 100 times 100, I'd count, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, so that's 10 to the 6th centimeter, and it's 1 that's a centimeter times centimeter times centimeter is a centimeter cube. So one cubic meter is one million cubic centimeters. And let me write that down. So one cubic meter is equal to one million cubic centimeters. Now, the reason I bring this up is that a lot of students will make a common mistake. And that common mistake is this. They will um, say that one meter cubed is equal and they're thinking well one meter is 100 centimeters and so they'll say one meter cubed is equal to 100 cubic centimeters and you can see how far off that is this is 100 this is 1 million so we know that this is wrong um, we can also say that over here we could say if you want to one meter cubed is equal to 100 cubed centimeters cubed. So make sure that you could cube this unit. Now I could write it as 100 cubed or 10 to the 6th, but you have to understand that we have cubed each side. This works for any kind of um, distance measurement uh, cube for uh, volume. In other words, let me explain that. If I have uh, cubic feet, and I want to know how many cubic inches are in one cubic feet, we could say that one cubic foot is equal to, well it's 12 inches per foot, but that would be 12 cubed inches cubed. Now I'm not cubing the one because one cubed is just one, but we have to, we know that one foot is 12 inches, but because it's cubic feet I would have to cube the uh, distance, which is 12, and the inches. So it'd be 12 cubed inches cubed, or we would say one cubic foot is equal to 1,728 
cubic inches. And so what's important to understand is that we have to make sure that you also cube the number as well as the unit when we're looking for volumes of solids. And that when I have a volume of a solid, I convert it, can convert it to volumes of liquids through this one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. And so it's important to understand um, this uh, idea of cubic in uh, volume conversion. And we'll end that video for, uh, uh, that will be the end of this video. Thank you.